Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's up? Okay, today I want to make a video about this copper strip here, which I want to try out against snails and slugs. And right here I have put a snail, or sorry, slug, and I want to see if it will crawl across this copper um, tape. Let's find out. You cannot eat that, Amy. So I have found two other uh, snails, one slug and one snail here. So now let the race begin. Snails and slugs always need a little bit of time until they move on after the pickup. So yeah, it may take a couple of minutes. Mm. No, you cannot have the slug. No. Mm -mm. Hmm. She's making a curve. Interesting. Oh my god, this is working. Apparently, the snail is touching the copper, but actually it doesn't want to get across. Wow, this is really working. Cool. Okay, now is the turn of the slug. Uh-huh. I don't think she likes it. No, she doesn't like it. She lifts off her body. But she's still crawling onto it. I don't know. Will she pass or not? The snail didn't like it at all. But this one, the slug is more, you know, aggressive maybe. Let's see. And it really seems to be important that the tape is at least three centimeters thick because otherwise, you know, this slack was going over the half already. So, yeah, she doesn't like it. Cool. So finally, I have this raised bed protected as well. The only thing that I don't like about the tape is that it doesn't really stick to the wood. So with the time, this is going to come off. Yeah. So this sticks much better on plastic. So if you have a container like this, it's perfect for these containers. But for the wood, uh, you have to use some, you know, staple staples. And I don't know how long this will hold onto here, but I can imagine that after a couple of weeks of rain, this will become very loose. So maybe you have to use even more staples. Okay, so here's another tape that I have cut into half. So it's only half as wide anymore. And I'm planning to make an electrical fence again. But you can see that the tape comes off here and there. So yeah, it just really doesn't stick well on wood. See? So I believe that with time, this will all come loose. Look at that. And then, yeah, you have to use staples like every five centimeters. So maybe for wooden raised beds, it's better to use a copper wire. And here on this raised bed, I have copper wires, two lines which go around the raised bed. And I've put a 9 volt battery onto the race bed inside of this container, which is waterproof. This is how it looks inside. Now, if a slug or snail comes across this electrical fence, it will get a small shock and then it cannot crawl over. But the only thing, the only mistake that I've made here is, sorry, that I've used copper wires which are too thin. So on the other raised bed I removed the copper wire because it was broken at one spot and once this is broken I will remove 
this copper wire too. So make sure that you use a wire which is thick enough. So what I've done is I have acquired this copper wire which is one millimeter thick and this one is much thicker than the one I've used here. And in future I'm only going to make wire fences with this strength of wire anymore. And yeah, this is much more expensive of course because copper is very expensive and thicker wire costs more. But in the long run your plants will thank you for having a snail fence.